Welcome to Kitchen Kingdom, where this old man bakes bad. In this episode, I am going to prepare brownies with a little twist. More on that later. For this, you are going to need one stick of butter, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, about two ounces of your favorite chocolate liqueur, one half cup of unsweetened chocolate. We have two thirds cup of flour. This is self rising flour. If you don't use self rising flour, use regular flour and add one half teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of sugar, one quarter cup of dark cocoa and one quarter teaspoon of salt. And as an optional step, you can add chopped nuts. So let's get ready to make something rise. Now the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. The next thing you want to do is you want to take an eight or nine inch pan and you want to grease it. You don't want to put nonstick and you don't want to use oil. You want to use like Crisco and then put some flour and then just flour the bottom of the pan. This will prevent it from sticking. If you have some extra, just go ahead and Put it in with your flour that you're going to use in your mix. Now, the next thing you want to do is get all of your dry ingredients incorporated. So that would be your two thirds cup of flour, your one cup of sugar, your one quarter teaspoon of salt, and your one quarter cup of cocoa. Just get that nice and incorporated. And we'll get ready for the next step. Next thing you want to do is melt your butter and your chocolate. Now you want to do this on a low heat, stirring constantly. Once your butter and chocolate are melted, you want to go ahead and remove it from the heat. And now you can add your chocolate liqueur. and your one teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is a half a teaspoon spoon, so I'm using two. Allow this mixture to cool slightly before you go to the next step of incorporating the rest of your dry ingredients and the eggs. Now we're going to transfer the chocolate and butter mixture into a larger mixing bowl and then we're going to go ahead and incorporate the rest of our ingredients now you could use a mixer on this but I prefer to do it by hand and what I'd like to do is you want your beaten egg one at a time And now you have your dry ingredient mixture. Just go ahead and put all that in there. And make sure you incorporate it well. And if you choose to at this time, you can add your chopped nuts. We're going to put this in our, I have an eight inch pan. You could use a nine inch pan if you want. Bake it at 350, between 25 and 30 minutes or until your brownie is done. I'm gonna go ahead and put this mixture into our, I have here a eight inch baking dish. You can use a nine inch if you'd like. We're gonna bake this at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the brownie is done. 
With our brownie in the oven, we're going to start on the little twist that I talked about, which is first thing we're going to do is a mint frosting. We're going to take our butter and we have some confection sugar. Now the amount that you use depends on the size of your brownie. We're going to go ahead and Get our soft butter cream. We're gonna start adding in the confection sugar. Now, to bring in our mint, and we're gonna use a little bit of food coloring just to kind of make it look green. A couple of drops. And we're gonna add about one quarter teaspoon of peppermint extract. taste taste just to make sure but I think I'm sure now we're going to do the peanut butter frosting this is the second rendition of the twist on the brownie we're gonna take about one cup of creamy peanut butter and we're gonna go ahead and cream it And to this, we're going to add approximately one quarter cup of confection sugar. And that's all there is to it. Now that our brownie has cooled, we're going to take it and just give it a little bit of trim. This isn't necessary, but Especially if you had a pan that had regular edges, this had that kind of scallop edge. And now for this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half. And then I'm going to cut the halves in half. Here we're going to take one of our brownie bottoms. And we're going to go ahead and give it a generous, generous of the peanut butter glaze. Go ahead and put your top back on it. Oh, well, that's still going to get eaten. Trust me on that. I'm gonna flip this around. Take the bottom of the other one. And we're going to take our mint. Frosting, which hopefully is a little bit more forgiving. And we'll take our top and put it on like that. Just give it a little cut so you can see the inside.
That's the mint. And here's the peanut butter. And I say, watch that A1C.